and ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome to another exciting, another spectacular propaganda cast with me, a host, Imperial Damon Off, here to a very exciting one versus one on a longer scale. And strap yourselves in, this is going to be a long one, a bit of an epic one hour long, so no mid game analysis, heads up. We shall be watching Gen Obi fighting here for the United States of America. Taking on the role here of the 1st Infantry Division, tasked with holding this series of farmsteads as the Germans under Stephen, the 2nd Panzer Division, marches ahead. We are seeing an immediate choice of armor commander here by Genobi. For Stephen, we are looking at Luftwaffe Ground Forces Special Operations and Scavenge Doctrine, another of the War Sports Commanders with Thorough Salvage, Jägerlein Infantry, Infiltration Tactics, the Flak Panzer, Fear Ostwind, and the Howitzer Barrage. Post goes on the way for news. We're noting here a dual rear clone troop start with assault and year stars and certainly not allowing Genobi to get as many troops out in the field as humanly possible. The do see Steven here running about with his try a bit, a bit bold, a bit cheeky, if anything, trying to push it around, trying to keep his men out, his opponent's men out in the open, allowing the storm. Fine, here's more shots there. A bit of a bold move there. Squad, get ready. It's Maybe a bit of an annoying one, but either way, pulls it back there, having taken sufficient damage and rather turn this engagement to his advantage. Pulse goes up fighting in the north. Rear clone troops trying to volleyfire there. His initial push there didn't quite succeed, at least with the many troops. Rather encountered a bit of a snack as he well, encountered Stephen's forces in a much more concentrated form, although I suppose at the same time he managed right, to keep Stephen back. In particular, Stephen's not really reached a fuel point yet. Neither has Genobi. In fact, he went straight for the munitions point first. <laughs> in fact, both players seem to be doing that. It's a bit of an interesting capping order there, and we do need some rifle then follow out here for Genobi. Rear troops reinforcing. And the assault units of Genobi moving forwards. Ready to track back at those Nazis. Half track getting ready for something, maybe. Noting here that Steven is initially a bit low on troops, in particular compared to his opponent. There we go, though. A third foot secondary squad, Storm Pan is moving up here. Maybe sensing something, setting up an ambush position. There we go. Assault is going to change in front of the assault rifles. Rear clan troops, rifle moving up as well. And there we go. We could see the assault is going down here. No. The rear clan troops throw themselves at the Storm Pioneers, or at least find themselves ordered to do so to save the assault engineers. Already here, Genobi displaying a rather cold. Methodical ruthlessness, happily sacrificing men to save more valuable men. Sorry, guys, I know you're bakers and cooks, but you're going to die. The point is under attack. Be ready. Up. Point up, that makes it short and life and squat on the way. Storm Pioneers marching ahead, emboldened by the slaughter of American the cooks and bakers. Moon Crusade on here for the cut off point, hung to deny his opponent a bit of fuel. An aggressive move, but at the same time, the Storm Pioneers will probably be one sort of able to hold off better. Already Vets 21, in fact, close to Vetri 2. Rifle moving up though, and there we go, Carl Point secure, more Rifle arriving. Fulz goes hanging about there. Oops, step setting up there, and what is this? A mechanized regiment headquarters up here for Steven, pulling back towards the munitions, continuing a mission of harassment. There we go, Wally 5 versus the Fulz goes in heavy cover, getting some pressed. Steven Pioneers, ooh, a full retreat here, looks like he just realized the situation can't be won. Steven there, a nice bit of unit preservation, pulls back. Assault engineers walking through the blood of many spilled comrades, including the ones that sacrificed themselves for their own survival. Oh, well, their survival. Volkskern is now having a less than holly and jolly time over here. The M1 Carmines keeping their heads down. We are seeing another Volkskern of the unit here to the rescue. Forward Leute, push back the Amerikanern. And there we go, forced off. Storm Pioneers could do with a bit more reinforcement before they rush back to the field here. Although they are close to victory too. Which will certainly make them a lot more combat worthy. Lieutenant hits on the way here by the 4 minute mark for Genobi. Steven trading in munitions for fuel. Hoping for a faster fuel income. Knows what he could have planned. There we come under fire from an awful lot of Americans. A lot behind a small tractor. 
Fox is in some point, he's moving up, and looks like the assault is closing in a bit across from Grand Hand. Instead, they do take a punishing volley. Will they survive this time around? Or will the sacrifice of the Vehicle on troops, or the Echelon troops, in the end have proven in vain? Nope, they managed to make it out there once more. And these two Empanias are close to fetch here too. Eyes on me. And there we go, a half track has arrived, the flak half track. The Ready to support. And hold back the armies. The superior firepower and German engineering. Lieutenant moving in there, falling back the Fox Grenadier. Half track needs to be a bit careful here. And there you go, setting up, right from taking up position here, ready to flank down, basically to fall the Sturm Pioneer. Fox is moving up as well, they could pop in a grenade, try and force out the Yankees. And there you go, the Lieutenant falls back as he comes under the screws in there from the Flug up there, Schützenpanzerwagen. Flieger up there. Would not be probably more accurate. And we're seeing an anti-aircraft half check coming up from Genovi as well. A capture point is under attack. Other flak half check pulling back a bit, ready to hold back the American. And again a push for the Carl Pond here. Steven keeping up the pressure. Continued harassment strategies and tactics in the hopes of throwing back his opponents taking a bit. And of course also at the same time drawing away attention from his front line, thus relieving pressure. Of course, always at the risk of losing an entire unit, but at the same time, right there, he's able to pull in a larger force, thus giving more time elsewhere to sort of build up things. Okay, to BF up, he's clearly worried about an enemy vehicle. I mean, it's quite a typical metagame right now for the Americans to rush out an uh, M15A1 half track as quickly as possible. And of course, Steam's expecting this. <coughs> of course, Raketen BF will certainly be able to help with that somewhat. Panzer Strike holds up here for the full Scandira. Steven really aiming in there with the anti-tank anti Waffen. Ready. Send order. And looks like he's gone scavenger. Scavenger and actually calling some Jaeger Light infantry. The Connors is swoops, I suppose they could also be considered Fusiliers or whatever. Or Aufklären. Since technically the only Jaeger infantry there was in the Ardenza on the Western Front was the SS Jägerverband 109, I think, or something like that. An SS Spec Ops unit under the command of Otto Scorsini. So yeah, not quite actual Jäger. I mean, they'd be more fitting on the Eastern Front than the Western Front, that's for sure. So I suppose they'll just be Aufklären. Reconnaissance troops. Looking dashing there. Four-man squad. A half track setting up the rate to throw back any German vehicles and infantry. And we're noting here Battle Group headquarters quickly following up here to allow for healing for his troops. <coughs> Bazooka's being equipped, so he's already researched that for some extra weaponry. His assault engineers, they really haven't managed to sort of do a lot in this engaged battle so far. Only one kill and not even a veteran to one. Shifting around here, ready to sort of close down for the anti aircraft half check, watching so he doesn't get caught up in anything nasty. Jaeger infantry providing a bit of cover here. Over the bodies of some rather dead Americans. Looks like he's shifting towards here, might be going for the cutoff point. And of course, the bazookas will also cause a bit of problem here for the AA half track. A flat half track. Needs to be coming, there you go. AA half track moving as well. There we go, Rafa getting absolutely. Turn into mincemeat right there. And there you go, it's moving up, it's moving up. Ooh. Right here, he could have made a mistake, he could have made a mistake. Oh, so close, the Jaeger infantry needs to push four vets. Four vets lighter. But no, it looks like Genobi is able to salvage the AA half track with only a sliver of health there. Saving it from a horrific explosive doom, at least for the crew. Quickly shifting over here, sending in the half track a bit on its own, could be a bit of a risky move. No further taking up here. Wonder what might be next. Oh, a 50 caliber machine gun on the way there. And there you go, half track pull back for repairs, the crew immediately getting on it. While well, Fulz gun is here being pushed back by a larger American infantry push up the center. There you go, Sorting is getting caught here by the anti-aircraft half track. Closing in on veterans one there. Fulz gun moving as well. 
And there we go, he could finally end up losing them. They could finally end up as corpses. That's a two. Sending me to anti aircraft gun just keeps pulsing away, but no! No such luck. Rifle moving ahead. Could have been attempting an anti tank rifle grenade. Sadly, was not able to do that, and we go. McKinn there, Fulton moving up, still pissed. And there you go, popping smoke, veterans one on the A half tech. Fulton's here, fighting versus Lieutenant and his friends. Here comes Fulton up, sends out Rafa Fulton's moving straight, hits towards a rear echelon troops. And there you go, Rafa pushes away, smoke causing them to draw straight into the Storm Pioneers, unaware of the dangers of so until it's too late. Rear echelon troops are having a bit of a bad situation, a bit of a bad day. In fact, they could end up wiped out here by the Fulton's. There we go, shot in the back. We lost an infantry unit. No survivors. And over to Steven here. Hauptmann Steven of the second Panzer TV show. Getting ready here for push up the centre with the 50 cover, then covering the infantry. And there go, yeah, after unleashing, well, hellish doom upon the Volksmen on the west flank. Can never pulling back. And there goes smoke again. Steven here rather good at using the concealing smoke there on the AA half track. Yeah, going to be flanking in there. Good job, good job. We could be giving up for the freeze. And compelling Genobi to pull back his forces here. Lest he risk annihilation. They've access to sprint, by the way. Of course, the first salvage ability, but also booby traps. They can booby trap points. Coming under uh, fire there. But can we have. Ah, a bit too slow than firing. So, man, a nice hit there. Rear armor hit. Question is, what will Steven be going for next? A lightest infantry shots. Standard artillery piece of an infantry battalion of the Germans. And there you go, right from charging head. Oh, straight into the flak half tank. That's just asking for a slaughter right there. The Ducci smoke grenade here, disabling the main gun, allowing for the other half tank to move. Although he might, of course, have gone. And he's actually popping smoke as well, just to make fully sure there's no chance of him getting caught up in anything naughty. At least unwarranted. And unwished for. And we see upgrades of grenade. We searched. Managed to escape it. Infantry shoots. Infantry shoots. Firing away there with 75mm gun. There were, in fact, a few later variants on this one. Usually copted from and tank tank guns of some smaller kind. They're all still far more or less the same caliber gun. The and there go quick ballast versus the assault engineers. It would seem. With the Jaeger infantry moving up as well. Those early the infantry Jaeger should seem to have had little luck in actually hitting anything. Another like Hedden Rehrfurt, certainly more worried about his opponent's armor as well. Building up with a slightly larger anti tank battery. There we go, we do know that it's probably been a wise choice. Genobi has pulled on for a major. Here again, Finchie definitely enjoying the advantages there versus the assault engineers. And there you go. Half tech moving up. There could be a chance of them getting to drop on it with like hit in the effort. Or even maybe a good shot from the infantry shoots. A half tech covering the center here nicely. Infantry supporting a Ken as well. And one that's veterans one thus able to ambush the American AA half tech. Steven so far managed to set up a reasonably solid position. Going to be a bit hard to surprise him or pull off any other fun tricks. And so any push up the centre is going to find itself under very, very intense scrutiny. But there we go. Basuga head off and smoke. Need to pull back. There we go. Another quick smoke. And there we go. Vetri too. The line for it to move a bit faster around. And also turn the chair a bit faster. That's overall making it noticeably a bit more survivable and also a bit more likely to quickly kill something. Though it's going to need some repairs again. And of course, question is what will Steven go for next? Could he be taking up further? Or will he be getting something from either of these two buildings? Another flak half tank, a Puma, Stukas of Fus, or an Yank uh, Panzer IV. 50 caliber doing what they can. Americans are quickly draining out a victory point so far. The second Panzer Division's assault is going well here through the farmlands. Troops mobilizing. Fulton is here not having a fun day. They are getting absolutely pummeled here by the 50 coming. There we go. Large assault going up here. Again, there for though. Manjo almost get it. Can he get it? Can he get it? 
Constant volleys here and ah, gets away. Just with the steel help of Sultan, he's coming in there after the kill on the Ken Nerfa. Flat half track, then moving up to fight Kaba, and we're seeing a full assault here to try and cover up the retreat here of the f a half track. But can it succeed? And also, of course, there's a chance here that an infiltration grenade is what we know. He pulls back. As what you think, meanwhile, getting absolutely slaughtered point blank, and once more, they manage to escape. Apparently, someone's watching over that gentleman there, these assault engineers, because they certainly end up getting murdered a lot. More infantry gets fire. The veterans one already up on this one. Adds for hollow charge rounds. Oh, that was a nice hit actually. Almost got the entire rifle unit there. And then almost gets the lieutenant in the process. Nice shooting, Dieter. Thank you. I learned that in Grafenwehr. I think. I don't know. I was never good at geography. All my memory. Other way. Units holding up. Points there being secured. Flat Panzer available, though he might not go for that right away. In fact, looks like he's setting up here for a Schwerer Panzer headquarters, covering up the victory point here. So there we go, a half check in a nice ambush position here, although of course at the same time could be ambushed itself if it's not careful. Oh! Yeah, that could get ugly. That could get very ugly. Two anti-aircraft half tanks covering the same spot. And looks like armor has been sent in for the 1st Infantry Division. And there you go, we're doing self infantry gun firing away, getting a nice hit there. Battery 2 for the American area half track. And there goes Hopper, has got the center. Foskers and Jaeger troops holding back. Well, he's doing what they can to hold them back. Also, re forward reinforcement point here with an ambulance up. So he's setting up reinforcement forward reinforcement point. Of roll. Nice infiltration grenade assault. Grenades launched en masse. Crashing this bullet of many American air half tech also opening up. Really tearing into them. Sherman though flying away. Panzerex flying as well. Back at it. A Ken Mefflin needs to set up support. You could also consider maybe just doing no charge charge round to fire away at the Sherman. No. More Foskers up with Panzerex. And there we go. Another hit there. And looks like Attila's coming in. Artillery might be from the Major here, maybe. There we go. The United States Army is really laying in thickly now. Air half tech moving in. Ah, oh, dangerous stuff here, Stephen. They might want to pop smoke. Shots actually impacting it on the rear. The Sherman's rear armor probably was well enough for that, but there we go. Again, involves away. Needs to pop smoke. Pop smoke. Nieben. You, you need one. Oh dear, he's not doing. Oh, there we go. A bit too late. He was probably trying to bait it into the Kettenwerfer. There you go. Flak half track down. A rather successful assault. They managed to push back Stevens' front line. Artillery needs to manage to wipe out the otherwise vital flak half track. Looks like the show might escape. And he mean gain veterans who won for it. Plus the fourth position, the last one's quickly get back in the fight as well. So that was a bit of a heavy hit there versus Steven. But he's not giving up. Apparently there's a mine as well. <coughs> We're actually closing in on veterans you free with that infantry gun. Or oh, infantry shots. Sherman rapidly being repaired as well. And oh, he's actually getting the crew there with his Jaeger infantry. Nice move there. Oh, he might have though moved the infantry gun a bit too far ahead here. Closing in on being able to call in the Panther though. He's also got a ton of map. Oh, he calls in an Ospin instead. He knows his opponent has tanks. So I think that's a bit of a uh, surprisingly bold move. He certainly could consider calling in some orbital down to further supplement. I mean, he's got a ton of manpower. He might as well use it. I'll admit. It is more common with the Orbital Commander West to float manpower because ultimately there's a lot less useful choices at the moment and a lot less to do with it. But there you go, a flak Panzer Fiat. 
had kind of hoped for a real win for the Orbo Commander this round and the Oswin again. I suppose one kind of thing. There we go, opening up and just really turning into those Americans. Of course, also gets little five lives of veterancy. And there you go, just blasting away. Looks like the other American half track might go down here. Veterans who won. And there we go, hits a mine and kaput. Already the Ostwind is a bit dinged up. One of several flak panzers based on the Panzer IV chassis, the latest one. Before they, well, rather had to start with that, the confusion of course was the Wirbelwind, and before that there was also the Möbelwagen, which could both have a flak feeling or this 37mm gun. Chan moving ahead though. I can't even for Nisa to run. Ooh, does have a veteran to flee one. That could be good. And there you go. Panzer Shrek and other fun things flying out. The Sherman here connecting and forcing Genovi to be careful to switching over to Genovi again. Force goes here being engaged by a large American infantry force. Crew ready. <coughs> 50 caliber up here, points have been secured. And a Sherman bulldozer is on the way, so it looks like he's handing in something a bit heavier further to blast his way through Stevens' front lines. Having had enough of those damn krauts. Orbis will die also arriving here some more veteran troops. Veterans of Normandy and beyond. Well, before that, actually. It's supposed to be more fitting. Then they're moving up. Patrick flying there, infantry hunting forwards. Ostwind ready for the fight once more. Orbis will die moving forwards, and there you go, just plowing into those riflemen with their MD 34. Flat hands also moving in. Coming under fire there from the Sherman already though. He's actually switched over to high close around, but out of there comes under fire though. There's not really much armor to deal with. The boys not all bad, but there still. Have to quickly repair. Right from here getting blast. Ooh, nice bit of smoke there to provide cover for them, disabling the Ostwind for a bit, or at least forcing a bit closer. The other Sherman moving ahead a bit awkwardly, to be honest. And the infantry fire gunfire coming in there again. While the Sherman here keeps the center secure for the time being. Assuming they're a bit on the back foot. They're not without any options. And there you go. Veteran 2 for the Ostwind. And Veteran 2 for the Jäger infantry as well. Steven though continues to fight on. Bit of manpower again. He might be setting up for a Panther now. At least I hope so. And he's been building up fuel for maybe it. Same with all these tanks about, he's going to need something a bit more intimidating than an Ostwind. And there you go, he's really pushing forward. He's not really done much with the right flank though, giving Steven some more fuel that way. Keeping things a bit safer, and there we go, I can never terms about. Needs to stop that Sherman though. And there we go, nice hit there. Now they hit, and there you go, Veteran to 4 increasing the mobility, but also the range of it. But now he might lose it, it's easy to get to our flanked here. Orbital well done, finding away, and it looks like, oh! 240 million, how's it going in? In, a Ken effort down. They might still be able to get the Sherman if he turns the other things around there, and fires at it. Almost got it, almost got it, one more hit. No, misses! Come on, Friedrich. And the Fulskis got wiped out with a single hit from the 105mm shot. And the Lakenmef went down to a 240mm shot. It looks like he got the Sherman with a something. I think a mine. But an absolutely devastating strike there towards the second punch. They've shown lots of valuable infantry and equipment lost. And now they can't really move around in that area since it's under rather heavy fire. Infantry gun though merrily continues to blast away at anything that even remotely looks American. Troops rebuilding and regrouping, and there we go. Infantry assault going in, Sherman moving up as well. Lagging a bit there to deal with that. 
quick grenade out. Oh, the big bunch it up. Oh, he managed to run straight into the grenade. Oh, no. We do see a quick infiltration grenade assault just unleashing a hailstorm of them. Almost taking out the lieutenant there. So he's top. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Accidental move there. Direct hit by the Sherman and knocking out the entire crew. That was a bit of a misclick there. Do on Pioneer Spectrum 3. Black Panther continues to murder away. Getting very close to that Panther though. Osman might want to get out of there. Before it's a bit too late here. Looks like he's trying to get the infantry. And there you go, Blitzkrieg, which has been made a bit more worth it actually. Actually gives a bit of a speed boost now. So it's actually somewhat worth it again. And then loses it here to a rapidly summoned up Wolverine. Steen here might have gotten a bit too lucky. And we see Genobi calling GG here. With Steven clearly disagreeing. Maybe even. But also pointing out it's actually bad manners to call GG. If you think you're winning nonetheless, it's considered rather rude. There you go, Vecchi 2 here. And Tony's team might still feel there's a bit of a chance here. Very close to that Panther. We can keep things going until that. Victory might still be there. You go, recruiting another raket in there. Heavy engine damage there on Jin Obi's 1 and 5 meter Sherman. Looks like Genobi, in fact, might be getting a bit overconfident because of it. There we go. Wolverine went down, and that actually buys his Schwerer Panzer headquarters the time it needs. He's also recruited the Infanterie Geschütz. Genobi's forces, though, are small but reasonably veteran. Though they might still do with a bit of extra stuff here, some infantry and whatnot. Of course, he might be saving up for more armor. Orbital down here to the rescue of the Infanterie Geschütz. MG34 launching away, Fultzman is moving up. And there we go, an infiltration grenade assault. Nice doing a lot of damage there, forcing Genobi to pull back his rifle. Once more, another lieutenant on the way to replace the one lost. And there we go, he sets about to be salvaging. No? Uh oh. Oh, 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 there we go. Takes a bit longer, but he gets few ammunition from this. I believe so. There's a Sherman there, there's an Osman there. There's a wrecked a Kedzen there for there as well. Has been assigned to field ops. There we go, good use of the ability, and there we go, Panther on the way. We can actually try to up for a King Tiger, though that might have been a bit uh, bold considering the overall circumstances. Then again, it probably could have worked. Oh, there's also the Wolverine there, but also note Raket and Rafus can also wish the wrecks be salvaged, repairing the Schwerer Panzer headquarters. Gutes Arbeit. It seems like he forgot to do that. Either way. Here we go, a bunch of munitions and fuel. Steven rapidly rebuilding his forces by salvaging. And it certainly wasn't uncommon for the Germans to go through American tanks they knocked out. Certainly some Panzer crews rather ended up enjoying rather nice meals, even when there were problems with rations, due to the fact they rather had figured out where the Americans kept all the goodies in their tanks. But the one on front in the middle of moving up here. Orbital landing with the can is pushing in, maybe for another grenade assault. There we go! Another storm of Stielgranaten! And there we go, Spear of Panzer quarters fully repaired. Panther slowly getting there. Still rather enjoying our forward positions here. Troops reinforcing. Good to go. Armor here. Another Orbital Dart unit and another Jaeger Light Infantry squad. And there we go, finally going for the fuel points. Only took him a bit of a while there. 
And so then we'll be getting Genobi then a lot more fuel as well. Second Sherman on the way. Regular one. Mines going up to cover the flank. Making good use of the mines there, Stephen. Making good use of the mines. And there he goes, Sherman coming into five veterans one here for like a Oh Jaeger infantry almost got wiped out in one go. Veggie's who already here, that's lovely. I just need to recapture that fuel point as well as soon as he gets that point back. Orbs are done crawling forwards here. Point is under and immediately coming under fire there from a 250 caliber. With the other orbital damage unit could try and clear that out. There we go. And finally a Panzer can find Fünf Jahre the second Panzer to be sure. Panther Panzer. And her tank rifle grenade fails to make an impression. Also done, laying down a nice volley of fire there. Forces about the rifle from Tantha just charges in. Opening up with the Sherman. While forces begin to push towards the right hand side. And there you go. Still upon his linking up behind the rifleman to try and cut them off at the retreat path. Does quite succeed. Looks like a rifleman unit was wiped out here by the orbital down on the retreat. Getting very close to Vetch 3 there. Which is our bait. And looks like he's cancelled the Sherman instead of opting up for a Jackson. Not a bad decision considering that the Panther has arrived and certainly the Jackson would be a much more aggressively suited move. Plus he's still got a one time in the Sherman, so you can see that way can still be handled. Veteran C3 for the Orbital Garden. Allowing them to actually heal themselves, a bit of a unique ability amongst German infantry, a lot of it. For the Orbital Commando Vest, Veteran C3, they can actually begin healing themselves. Bit of a throwback there to Veteran C1 for the Wehrmacht in the first company of heroes, which allowed them to also heal themselves. And which also made that purchase for little Veteran C rather worth it. Sturm Pioneer falling back. Jäger infantry ready to support the Panzers, and there we go. MG42 Pendle mounted. And there you go, the M36 Jackson. The most heavily armed tank destroyer the Americans had in the war. The British one was basically the Wolverine, but equipped with a 17 pounder gun. They called it, I believe, the Achilles. But 90 mm gun here on this one. Nasty piece of work, although they generally were a bit worried if the Germans got too, a bit too close due to the open top nature of the turret. Obviously, on there making a push for the victory point. But we do note here that Kenobi is setting up for a rather stubborn defensive position. A fun grenade here would be nice to get the munitions. Of course, we could also pull off a grenade assault here with the infiltration tactics assault with the orbital Darden. Jackson moving forwards here. But immediately encountering a stiff German resistance. This assault of flounders a bit. And looks like he's called in a Wolverine as well. Adding in several tank destroyers to the mix. Not entirely sure when he's then sending them in without having the Jackson supported at the very least. So that seemed a bit of an odd decision. In fact, he could even end up losing the Wolverine there. But no. Another hit there from the Jackson. Taking the Panther down to half health. Seem to be some issues there for Steven. Which is rather unfortunate. In particular, it rather seems like the infantry gun might have bugged up. Which is really unfortunate. Well, there you go, Jackson fit for the fight. So I believe it's time to look at Steven again. My pardon's there. Decent mix of infantry there, Panther getting repaired. Suppose he could aim for a Lux, or to try to save up for another Panther, or even a Sturm Tiger if he fancied. I suppose he could also get another Flak Panzer Fear. And strike fear into the hearts of the enemies of the Reich. Alongside the Obersoldaten. Which do represent more actual Panzer Gunners than the Wehrmacht Panzer Gunners do with their assault rifles. This was sort of more actual equipment, a bunch of rifles and a light machine gun. Though they would have been actually equipped with an MG-42. 
But they've got another to strike the Orbital down, needs to get away. Zurück fahren, Leute, and they've got Trank Towers to Sherman again. Oh! Shit, half the unit went down there. And he's actually thinks he's both the free of the Panther. The Jackson Nick could go for nice hit, but at the same time, the Jackson cuts. Oh, no, the Kenna for shoots at the wrong thing! Another strike there, Panther needs to get away. Orbital's getting wiped out, units getting lost left and right. Another Orbital down. down. Jaeger Infinite not doing good, and they've got, got the. M10, but the Panthers in a terrible state. And says the rest of Stevens' forces all of a sudden. And there's an MG34 left out in the open. Whoever picks that up, is going to have a bit of a fun time. And the underside's not. And there goes Jackson with control. They pushed a bit too far ahead. Got hit nearby. Okay, now for heading up in the nearby farm building. Well done. Another M10 arrives. Explosions going off. Looks like a mine went off there under the feet of poor Larry. And he's charging in. He's going straight in. He feels like he hit the Panther. Trying to get repaired here. Needs to blitz out maybe and get the field well farther away from it. Oh, a bit too slow there, a bit too slow. In fact, he does nothing. He does nothing. Allowing the M10 to circle it. Ow! Scheiße! I think that could have been a void there by Steven. But he might have been a busy elsewhere, I don't know. Or felt like... There was no point in bothering. No, personally, I think he could have done. Of course, he is free to disagree with me more than much as possible. There goes all down moving up yet. Yeah, finding a way. Close to XC4. In fact, he'll probably then the most veteran unit. Steven has the rest seemingly getting wiped out half the time. But he can easily get himself a replacement panther now and quickly get out some armor to the front line once more, which would probably be an idea. Since I imagine that's Mr. Kenobi here won't be holding back. And there we go, Veteran C4, allowing them to actually suppress. Also makes it a bit su more survivable. Though it does rather require they're not suppressed themselves to allow them to suppress. Yeah, going to be possible. And they got crushed there! The bulldozer seizing up to life and immediately swinging down that large thing upon them. But Ken Murphy here, Veteran C3, doing a nice piece of work there. Once more, the Sherman just was finished repair, was forced back again. Or well, maybe Steven's actually now saving up for the King Tiger de Koenig's Tiger. Could that be it, since he's not going for a Panther again? Or does he have something else in mind? Does he have something else in mind? One wonders. Also, there's been surprisingly little harassment here by the late stage of the game towards the left-hand side. He might want to, considering a bit, there they go, a second Panther. And it looks like the Americans were able to seize up a, a kitten there as well. MG34 still here. Left on the ground under the corpse of some poor Friedrich. And of course there's a bit of wreckage there against the salvage. In fact there's several wreckages you can use the salvage there for further fuel and munitions. To further his course. In fact looks like here we go also salvaging the rocket and we have a wreck. See so making good use of the ability. You're going to be doing what I can, Orbs all moving from another side. Second Panther arriving to support the second Panther to be shown here. And there you go, Veterans E350 caliber. That's nasty work and news. Nice grenade there, forcing the Orbs on to have to retire a bit. And there you go, Veterans E5. That's definitely a good bit of music. And there goes Smoke Grenade there to try and fall back the Panther as well, or at least ensure it doesn't fire. Good job, good job. Orbital down there, continuing to rain down a volley of bullets on top of the American's head. And again, going for the cutoff point, then going for the fuel point. To certain extent, he's sort of managed to control the map, though it's a rather sort of barely going on thing here. His force is constantly being worn down, sacrificing units here and there to keep up the pressure, but at the same time, if Steven makes. The right moves, or his opponent makes one mistake, or Genovi makes one mistake. I mean, Steven could get much more strong into the fight. Plus, of course, there's just a chance of him feeling too much retreat here to Steven, certainly with a veteran 5. Oh, oh, never mind, Steven there could have been close to losing it. But somehow he's able to save his most elite unit here. His best squad of Panzergrenadiere. Panther being reinforced here, and salvaging another piece of equipment for fuel and munitions. Good job.
And there we go. I mean, you get f actually quite a bit of munitions out of an abandoned piece of equipment. Go. Mass assault up here would be a nice sight for an infiltration grenade assault. Those men are about to get shredded. There's so probably not. We go orbital down opening up. MD-34 continue to rake down like the scythe of the Grim Reaper. Back to Genobi. Looks like he's getting more of the anti-infantry stuff, calling in an M8 Scott. There you go, Sherman Ford coming over here from the Kedna for Veteran C4 now. Sherman taking quite a bit of damage, Rockman doing the best there, and this place is just turning into a brave sight. So many dead Americans have died for this one point. But so have a bunch of Germans, so not exclusive to one side. Panther just charges forge, hoping to get that Sherman or maybe something else. The ambulance could go down here. You need to be a bit careful though. There's a lot of Vesugas there firing at the exposed rear side. And there we go. Almost got the ambulance. Almost. Another M10 hastily summoned up. Send orders. A capture point is under attack. You don't tell me he lost the orbital Darden. Nein, he lost the orbital Darden. Steven, nein. M10 charging forward tip. Panther trying to get away. Venting to salvage resources from there. Veteran's running for the Panther. I couldn't have a quick turn about. There we go, damaged engine. And that should be it for the M10 Wolverine. And Steve is just using the infantry gun. He can't use for anything otherwise. He just cap. There you go. Kaput. A half tech here continuing to form a defensive position. A bulwark which Genobi can't easily trespass. Well, there's definitely been a lot of back and forth in this fight. A lot of turnarounds and certainly quite some fortitude there displayed by Steven but certainly also by Genobi as well <coughs> another orbital done unit might be worth there we go sounding again more and more Steven is not holding back there which is good Making the most of this ability. It's certainly rare to actually see some players make use of this ability. That's the savage ability, but here Steven is just going at it like a champion. Steven certainly also one of those who tends to make the most out of abilities and whatnot. <coughs> and getting classed though by a new Austin Flux has called up. Another that's just like going in here around the central cutoff point. Forcing Steven to have to pull back his armor. They still manage to move, move here and there. Jaeger infantry pushing up the center. Fox is pushing up the right flank. Everything is focused around this point. And certainly it's not a bad tactical or strategic decision. Basically, if you can hold this and the fuel point, he can essentially deny his opponent an awful lot of fuel, and that's likely what he's hoping for. And of course, that way slowly build up to an armor advantage. <coughs> It's certainly been serving him all right for now, though of course the losses have been heavy at times. Steam of course could consider another orbital down unit to further push forward things, but then again, I mean even the flak pans here can lay down a lot of pressure on it if he flanks from the right positions. He can be engaged by Reifman pushing up. Flak pans moving into aid. And there we go, the Reifman just getting absolutely shredded here. <coughs> quick grenade here, and we are seeing Steven pushing up here on the right side. Taking advantage of the infantry push forward here to catch them out in the open and slaughter them like cattle or sheep or whatever. That much he aimed to catch, in fact, all of Genobi's positions here on the side here, and actually outflanking the position. Nicely done, nicely done. And there's only one really, the one of I mean, the Sherman here to do something about it. We should probably try and save up for a Jackson. <coughs> 50 caliber and the Kenman forced away. Black Panther and Panther proving it to be a bit too much here. 
There we go, veteran one for the second flat panther. Ooh, he might get the 50 caliber. Keep up the pressure. They're down to no. And there we go. Down, kaput, torch. Right, A fresh orb will die unit as well. And now beginning to shift out towards more munitions. Interesting, interesting. Feels maybe he's a bit confident in what armor he has. And wants to save up for something else. Of course, question is, what could that be? I suppose it could be his commander does also have an artillery ability. It might be he wants to go for that. And there you go, mate. Scott takes it. It actually has been doing a lot in this fight. Wonders a bit why Genova then got it. Oh, nice hit there. And the orbs were done before they managed to do anything. Yeah, Grin from Chico go down. There we go. Looks like these, the lieutenant was able to steal the MG34, creating quite the killer unit. Yeah, Grin from Chico absolutely mowed down with no remorse. And there we go. Artillery going down. One and five millimeter to how to shield just raining down like a furious storm. <coughs> and Sherman here getting caught. I can't remember the man so up there for the Panther. But a nice push here from Steam a bit hit bit heavy on losses at the same time was able to push back Genobi and also cause Pimp a bit of grief there. Okay, we're getting flanked here by the Flak Panzer. By Lieutenant with a BAR and an MG34, that's bad news. For the Germans, less so for the Americans. Panther should be pulled back for a pass. In fact, it's really close to Vetri 2, which would definitely be a huge boost there for Steven. If we can actually get it at that. So he really should pull it back, if anything. He can't really withstand one more shot, and I mean, if that Jackson hits it, that's going to be good night. Panzer kann fucking fünf. Come on, Steven. There we go. There we go. Might even be a time to get a combat blitz off. And there we go. Yep. Jackson reveals his presence. A rather desperate and racket defense all of a sudden here for the second Panzer to be shown. It's a sort of stalled a bit. First infantry mobilizing further and further, pushing harder and harder. Another artillery strike going down here, apparently. Did Steven call this in? I don't know. I've certainly been noticing there's been a bit something odd with the artillery from time to time. No, he didn't call it in. Interesting. Interesting. He might just be accidentally tricking itself without ammunition use afterwards. Somehow. Five moving forwards here. Orbital done flat panzer forming a last stand here. Another show moving forwards. Rifleman and Lieutenant falls back here for the Oswind. Nice bit of a kin hit there. Mine engagement there. Best use for this Raken for that's definitely going to be a bit of bad news there for Genobi's troops, or well, more specifically his armor. And they'll fall to his Somehow, actually, this all of a sudden has actually reached Vetchen to free. That was bloody quick. That was bloody quick. Go Vetchen if I can never filing away. A high rate of fire and a decent range now. Panther, there you go, battery 2, thicker frontal armor, well, more armor just overall, thanks to the Schutzen. And there you go, coming in the fight from the Kinder and the Jackson, he might be pushing his luck a bit there. We lost an there you go, the Kinder down, it is a bit, oh, there we go, Jackson went down, nice hit from the Panther, nice hit from the Panther, the Kinder for the crude. Uh, he might be pushing it up here as well, oh, there we go, battery 2 for the Oswind. High rate of fire, Panther just striking off rocket after rocket. Oh, but it went down here to Bazooka from some nearby shot. And there you go, M8 Scott went down there. It's all of a sudden a huge exchange of losses. 
On both sides, Osvin, Tiaxons, Scott going down. And another artillery barrage there. Bits and pieces flying all over the place. I can have recruit, but quickly decrude. Victory points are not looking good for Steven, by the way, and this has just been an absolute slaughter. And you can certainly see there's been done a lot of damage been done on this fight, certainly also a lot of kills. And the moves forward here. Sherman not looking too happy there. And this Panther is actually getting close to Veteran to 3. They might want to move up more into support. Mine's going down. Till they strike. There we go. Oh, good lord. Just one massive strike going in there. And a strike from the Americans as well, both sides exchanging howitzer of fire. By the Americans and denying themselves a chance of getting close to the victory point there, unless they fancy getting hit with their own 240 million shells. No, what are you doing? What are you doing, get over me? He's really pushing his luck here. I mean, one moment he's going to lose something valuable. There we go, the Major almost wiped out. But not before I called him to Matilda and the opposite died, forcing them away. Absolutely insane. M36 Jackson. Another Oswin here seems to be very intent on the Panther Oswin combo. Message over for these two pioneers. Lieutenant continuing up here with 16 kills. And there go close to H3, very close to H3, but I might lose it, might lose it, he might want. Oh, he doesn't have the means for the combat blitz. But Ken Meffer now in a spot position as well. There you go, Jackson fires away. Within range of the Ken Meffer. Hey, sir. Found that close going down. There we go, he's calling an M10 as well. The Ken Meffer cleared out. And the Panther went down. Nine. Now he's got nothing to do with all this except some AA guns. This is hardly looking like great news, or looks like the lieutenant was splattered out here. And they go catching all the units here. Oh, flak planted out, so I'm going to for another orbital gun on the way. Looks like there'll be no armor here for the second panzer division anymore, just more infantry. Emptying the Panzer and the Battalion or company for whatever can be mustered forwards. I'm going for all the victory points as well. Sturm Pioneers here. Going forward to try and save the day here, just killing so dirty. Am I can't a shrine? The Raffin is certainly taking quite a bit of punishing there from the Veteran 4 Sturm Gewehr equipped Sturm Pioneer. And there you go, they get Veteran 5! Now they are two killers, and there goes just bunch up here. Fultz goes with a PAR, that should actually make them a lot more interesting here. We could be a good shot for. Yes! A grenade assault, they can't retreat away! <laughs> oh, there you go! Gaining Veteran 2! A glorious victory for Deutschland and an utter massacre right there for the 1st Infantry Division. Jackson trying to crush them. Oh, that was the Wolverine. Never mind. But 
Well, that was one hell of an infantry assault there. And you got the Kenneth opening up the wall, reinforcing that away. Stand ready, Good and ready. Those Sturm Pioneers have definitely earned themselves an Iron Cross first class. Uh, those false guys there with a the grenade assault straight on all those Americans so the also end a bit. Now the assault straight into the orbital down, that's a bit of a bold move there from Genobi. Points are ticking down here. This could end up being a rather close end. Second orbital down you up. Just more MG fire. Quick grenade there, and the orbs will done charge forwards. I mean, he could consider actually laying down a booby trap here around the centre of victory point to make you know difficult for his opponent to take back. I mean, that's one thing Steam has made use of is those booby traps. I mean, he's also not made use of the blend curve, but that's just bl too bloody expensive for an anti-tank grenade, to be honest. Ooh, he's even repairing his raketon there for a good job there. You could even consider afterwards salvaging that Sherman. Another grenade assault here this time, though. Everybody managed to throw like a girl and absolutely doing no damage to the Americans. Flesh assault and just looking looks like Kenobi might be feeling a bit desperate there to call those in at this stage. Oh they might be able to clear out the opposite down if Steam is not good to pull back here. And there we go, that was in fact a bit close. Steam seems to be building up for something maybe as third Panther? Or what could it be? Oh, and they're just charging straight into the steel pioneers, and they are just getting slaughtered. Those veteran 5 steel pioneers are not messed with. They do take a lot of time to actually get to that level of veterancy, but once they get there, although it practically took almost an entire bloody hour, I mean, then they do show their worth. And looks like Kenobi is making off with an infantry shots. Or at least he would have had the Sturm Pioneers not run them down. Nope! Oh, 30, 50 cal here at the base, man, to stop them. Tank is also back. No armor to deal with at the moment. Though there might soon be. He could save up for the Sturm T guy, I suppose. Or just aim for the Panther again. We go right in advancing. Grenade man to do nothing, and again pushing for the victory point here. Steven very much intent on closing in off as quickly as possible. Also starting to get a bit of a long fight. Been almost an hour now. And back to the cutoff point. Fun grenade here into the advancing hordes might be an idea. Nope, look back. Even the technosaurus being rushed in to try and deal with this. And there we go, our Kenway opens up. And there you go, all three victory points now in the hands of the second part of the division. And veterans to three again. Fox goes with a BAR move up here to try and support the front line. And they should be able to do so reasonably well there with an actual light machine gun in their hands. And there we go. Oh, Riven just got cut down there between the Fox players and them. That was just brutal. Another artillery strike going down here. Though again, I don't think he has the munitions for it. Yeah, I think that's a bug of some reason, just somehow the latest to two strike can somehow just return for no reason. Might be an easy to report that.
Oh, ho, ho. Steven's upset. Don't ever be bad mannered towards Steven. Ever. I think that's the prime lesson of this episode because he will get back, he will come back at you no matter what. Clearly. Bar to Larton there, almost holding the rest out. And there we go. And that's going to stop before it all ends, so we don't get the whole I can't move around while uh, battle's over. And there we go. Game over. A loss there to the Americans. The Giants are in the end able to pull through, albeit after heavy losses, after the entire surrounding area has been more or less leveled. Tons of artillery was unleashed. Rockets and all other sorts of things went through the battlefield here. Some very aggressive tactics from both sides. Steven there several times pushed back to his base, but every single time managing to come back. Fueled by righteous fury at the rude behavior of his opponents. Lots of interesting there. Lots of orbital dancing in the fight here. Interesting use of the commanding pretty much used every ability. Jaeger infantry salvage. As well, those infiltration attacks in several cases rather gave him a good boost, in particular right around here in the later stages. The Oswind, the Howards of Bad Arch, I mean, he really make use of everything they're available to him by the Doctrine. Infant kept up on those Storm Punish, and then there, so he also did a lot there. I mean, he also made good use of sort of pushes, tried to sort of initially relieve pressure, tried to draw attention elsewhere. There could have been more, I think, harassment sort of by the mid game here on the right flank, or the left flank. And certainly a bit. All there with that one panther up here, the first one there, but still, beyond that, well played by him. Certainly also well played by Genobi, albeit a bit rudely, although at the same time he might have wanted to actually aim up for the anti-tank, and then the Linger later runs sort of set up something a bit more defensively secure from the panther and the Ketan Verfus, since they would have a bit of a harder time dealing with that compared to, say, you know, a Jackson or some such. He might also been occasionally a bit too eager to call in a Wolverine, rather than just wait for something else to sort of hold up the line and certainly he could maybe also make use of those assault units he adds to actually down some anti-tank mounts or to make things a bit more difficult for Steven that way and certainly some machine gun emplacements here and there could pay maybe also benefit him and certainly yeah, sort of as the game progressed he also got a bit more sort of lax he, he didn't really pull off a lot of flanks he just sort of went for the straight on assaults rather brute force tactics which to a certain extent worked for him but it also fit Steven a lot of experience in the long run that in the end rather help Steven to do a lot more damage to sort of get back in the fight. So there you go, I hope you enjoyed this bit spectacular epic fight here between two players on Langer of Scare. I hope you learned something from it, I hope you got some ideas for yourself, I also hope you learned never be rude to Steven, otherwise terrible things will happen. And of course if you did, feel free to subscribe, tell your friends, share it with everyone, if not, you know, send in a review and find some feedback in the comments, also feel free to follow me on Facebook or Twitter. Links are in the description. And if you do send me a replay, do provide a link on the leaderboard to where on. This is Imperial Dane saying cheers.